to niche or not to niche? That's the question. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of talk goes on, on LinkedIn particularly, about whether we should niche or specialise in what it is that we actually do. And all I wanted to do was bring ahead, if you like, the last four or five little vlogs that I've done this week. Each have been about little specific specialisms of mine. And I wanted to just finish the week with a final one, which was about it is okay to not niche. Now that's just my opinion and I know that's probably going to get me a tirade of comments and debate and uh, you know all sorts of people saying different things that you should niche or you shouldn't niche or whatever. I know that's common typically and actually I'm really envious of anyone who does or can niche and I suppose the point for me is that there's been so many things that I've turned my hand to over the years that it's just given me a reasonably large breadth of skills and things that I can turn my hand to and so it's really difficult to niche that down. Now that's not to say that if I'm in front of an automotive audience for example that I can't then come across as a specialist because clearly that's my background and that's what I'm reasonably well known for. But today I'm doing some MCing work and if you didn't know me you would think that my specialism is as an MC because it's something that I love, it's something that I enjoy. So for me, the key to it is give yourself permission to not niche, totally understand the reasons why you would and if that's your specialism and you want your customers to know you for some particular thing then absolutely 100% agree with that. But if you're like me and you like to spread your wings a bit and do different stuff then give yourself permission to not niche because that's exactly what I'm doing and in the process I'm enjoying what I do because actually at the end of the day if it feels like work you're doing it wrong. Catch you later. I'm Steve Whitten, but you know that. See you soon.